Bear change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> oh, kind of your friend. Very kind. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. Ooh, that thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? Okay. Well, that's like a damn big man is what it is. Got spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest armor. But don't let the size fool you. It's quick. Well, from what I've heard, maybe whack it in the head. I'd try the eyes. Of course, there's a problem there. You can't look at them. It is said the death claw can hypnotize just by looking. Then it walks up and boom, you're it. Good luck to you. You're gonna need it. Oh, hey, it's you again. Anything I can do for you? The whole thing? Well, no. After the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> Phew. Long time. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. Well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Mm. Lost a lot of good people, though. <coughs> uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Everywhere. Hell, seemed like you couldn't fart without hitting one. But mostly in the Northwest. <laughs> Pretty good. Now, we mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray. Led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. One of them robots got Francine. 
Mark was wounded. Send him back to the surface. Then it was just me and Gray. To this day, I don't know. He never made it back here, and, well, I couldn't face the wasteland again, so I, I never looked. We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. No, you idiot! I just said I never saw him again, didn't I? Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. All I know is it was something inside that base. How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway, that's how the deal went down. Who? Is he some sort of sex therapist? I could use one, you know. Yeah, I came from a vault. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. Oh, hey! Anything I can do for you? Thank you. 